First of all, I can't believe that June is already over. We're going into July, the second half of 2023, but this feels like the perfect time to talk about all the news in the photographic space that you might have missed out on during June 2023. Let's go over new products, all the new stuff, all the interesting things. Let's get into it. Let's start what we always do with new products. Now, first up, there's not as many new products this month. We've had some big months, right? It's fair enough. It slows down a little bit. It has to. We can't keep seeing just a crazy amount of products every month, but there's still some really interesting stuff. Two new Nikon lenses. We saw the 180 to 600 millimeter f5.6 to 6.3. That's a lovely, lovely looking telephoto zoom lens. That's going to be very, very interesting. And then we also saw the 70 to 180 millimeter lens as well. So a couple of really nice options there, as well as, of course, the new Sigma 14 millimeter f1.4. Oh, that is exciting. Now we reviewed that on the channel, but that, oh, if you're looking for a really nice wide angle lens, that is absolutely the one. Lovely, beautiful, fast aperture. That is going to be stunning for astrophotography. Lots of versatility there. In other news, we also saw Sony adding 4K 120 frames a second to the ZV-E1, which is really exciting because I loved that camera. And that is just a lovely thing to add in there. Great for most videographers' workflow. I think it's a really good option. 4K 120 is just a fantastic way to shoot all kinds of interesting things. So really, really nice to see that on the camera. And Nikon, of course, upgraded the Z9 to firmware 4.0, which has some really interesting stuff in there, including auto capture, which I think is an interesting way to use your camera where you can set different parameters to make the camera start taking photos. So if it detects the subject, if it detects movement, we've got a whole blog on it, which I'll link to down in the description so you can see all of the interesting stuff that has just been added into the Z9. We had other reviews on the channel. So the Tamron 11 to 20 millimeter lens, which was a lovely wide angle zoom lens, the Canon PowerShot V10, which again is an interesting camera. It's a vlogging system, but it's a little bit different. And we also did our full review on the Z8. So we already had kind of a first look review, but we had more time with it. We went out and about, did photo, did video, really got to grips with it. And we've got the full review on the channel. Again, you can check all of these out by following the links in the description. We had some nice tutorials this month in Tutorial Tuesday, everything from how to use a 70 to 200 millimeter lens and all the things that it's good for. And then photo editing tutorials with Capture One, how to edit portraits, interesting stuff in that space as well. And just around Park Cameras, we had our imaging festival last week in our London store where we had lots of guest speakers talking about a whole range of photographic subjects. We had deals. If you're watching this video the day that it comes out, we've got our imaging festival in our Burgess Hill store tomorrow. So that's Saturday the 1st of July. We'll have again loads of guest speakers talking about all kinds of different subjects, a load of brands there showing off their latest and greatest kit, as well as loads of deals to take advantage of as well. You can see full details on our website. Again, I'll pop links in the description. And that's it. We're heading into July. I'm very excited. I am loving these summer sunsets this year. I am really all about heading out 8.30, 9 o'clock, and getting those golden tones. I'm really, really enjoying it. I'd love to know, what are you shooting through July? What are you looking forward to? What were you shooting in June? Let me know. Let me know down in the comments. It's really interesting to talk about that kind of stuff. Until then, though, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can check out all that content we've been talking to down in the description. I'll see you next time. But until then, as always, thanks for watching.